I'm James Makekal Tyson. I'm a professional Super Smash Bros. Ultimate player for Counter Logic Gaming. So I'm here today to try out the Xbox Series X, thanks to Esports Arena and Walmart. The console looks, it, it looks like a really good computer, <laughs> which is already, it's already impressive in itself because gaming has taken such a drastic turn lately. A lot of people are PC gamers, so I feel like it's a really nice merge to see a console that looks a lot more familiar to something I'm used to gaming on. Uh, other than that, like it also just looks incredibly clean. It has like the little vent on the top, but the way like it dips down, it looks like embezzlement, you know? Like it looks like, it looks like, wow, I feel rich. Just the fact that like I own this, you know? And I don't even own it. So just the fact that it made me feel like that is pretty crazy. I played, I think it was Gears 5. So I played Gears 5, I played The Tourist, and I played Ori and the Will of the Wisp. Uh, we played like a zombies mode. I think you're supposed to survive 12 waves. Uh, it was, well, I haven't played a Gears game before, so just Gears in general was really interesting. I like the fact that there's the reload mechanic. Dude, reloading's just a rhythm game. <laughs> the fact that we kind of had like five people and we kind of had to work together and the difficulty ramped up incredibly fast. I was like, oh, hey, I'm getting used to the game. Wow, I can fight these guys. Wow, I'm dead. <laughs> like, what is this? What is this? It, I went through the whole roller coaster really quickly, but it, um, it, just, it just felt really fun to play. The game looked really good. One thing that I think is really, it can be like off-putting about shooters is like if you just turn like, too rapidly, it's like just super blurry, but I felt like the game always ran really nicely, always looked beautiful. Even, even when I died, the game looked beautiful. Like, that's how you know. It's so there, was, there was no hope for us. There was absolutely no hope for us. We had two AIs, so I'm gonna immediately throw them under the bus. They super sucked. I don't know if they did much. One of them picked me up once. So, shout out to that guy. So, the other AI that didn't pick me up, trash. Don't want him back on the team, I'd rather have four players. The Tourist is one of those games where it kind of throws you in. <laughs> it's like, hey, have fun. And it's like, oh, okay, right? The, <laughs> the funny thing to me is you're just some guy wearing like, you know, typical Aloha t-shirt, some shorts. He's just having a good time, but he jumps like 15 feet in the sky. I'm like, why are you doing this? How can you do this? Are tourists just superhumans? Never got the answer, but that's kind of the point of the game. You want to keep trying to find out the answer. It, are you really just, you're just a tourist at the end of the day. And you know, it might, some people might not enjoy that, but I enjoyed it a lot. I like games where I can just get thrown in and it's like, hey, have fun. <laughs> I'm a tourist. Uh, so I've played Ori 1. I've been wanting to play Ori and the Will of the Wisps. I've actually been hella waiting to play this. The fact that I got to first try it on top of the Xbox Series X was phenomenal. I actually want to go home and play it. I want to continue playing it. I just couldn't help just pausing and like looking at the background of everything. Like this just looks so good. All the animations for everything looks amazing. All the, there was like a giant wolf that I had to run away from. I was like, run, Ori, Ori. Oh, <laughs> so there was a part <laughs> with, there is, I had to get this like key and there is this laser just like on the ground and I had no idea what I was supposed to do. Apparently there was a rock a lot earlier that I was supposed to move and block the laser with so that way I could get to um, get to the key. I just did not know this rock existed. So instead, <laughs> I tried doing this very specific jump where I did an upwards attack to stall my fall just a little bit so I could jump and wall jump in order to get the key. And then I had to do almost the exact same thing to get out. And I probably did this for like 10 minutes straight. Cause I was like, I'm, I know this is possible. And at that point it was just like persistence. I was like, I know I can do this. Like, I, I, don't, I don't care if there's another answer. Like, this is how I want to play the game, you know? It was worth it. It was so worth it. When I finally got it, I was like, yes, clip that. Yes. I think I'll get an Xbox. It's just, it's different. It's very, it's very different playing on a console versus playing on a computer. Like, I, I don't really know why. It's probably a sense of like, you know, when you grew up, you played on consoles. Like, that's just a fact. Unless you played Solitaire and Minesweeper on your computer, but like, did you really grow up playing Solitaire and Minesweeper on your computer? No, 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 you grew up playing other stuff, probably. So, there's just, there's something special about playing on a console. And I feel like 
I really felt that type of nostalgia today. I mean, shout out to CLG being my sponsor, shout out to Esports Arena and Walmart for having me here, honestly. And you guys can find me anywhere pretty much as GSM Void. Literally GSM Void anywhere except mafia.gg. Sick. <laughs>